Hello and welcome to the Sunday Afternoon Modular. In this video we want to have a look at an effect called Bitcrusher. Bitcrusher is a low resolution digital distortion effect. You can use it to emulate the sound of early digital audio devices or to distort signals until they are unrecognizable. But what does a Bitcrusher exactly do? For this we need to understand how digital audio works. Digital audio on a CD has a resolution of 16 bit and a sample rate of 44.1 kHz. If we compare analog audio to digital audio, we see that there is not a smooth line, but it is stepped. The sample rate determines the number of snapshots taken to recreate the original analog sound wave. So the higher the sample rate, the more information of the analog sound wave can be stored. The bit depth determines how many amplitude values each of those snapshots contain. Now you cannot bit crush an analog audio signal as it has no bits. So if you have a bit crush module, it will always convert the incoming analog audio signal to a digital one, so to zeros and ones, then you can alter and crush the digital audio signal and after that it will be converted to an analog audio signal again. Now as previously mentioned a CD has a resolution of 16 bit and a sample rate of 44.1 kHz. Everything above that value is called high resolution audio. Modern audio interfaces can go up to 32 bit and 192 kHz. A bit crusher works in exactly the other direction. You can put the resolution down to 8 bit, 4 bit, 2 bit, even 1 bit, which then totally destroys the sound. Bit crushers usually come with two controls, one to crush the bit depth and one to divide the sample rate. I will now demonstrate on a sine wave what each of these controls does, so you have it visualized what I just talked about. that was it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, leave a like, subscribe to my little channel and see you next time on the